Hi, this is Alan Aitken and welcome to another edition of the South China Morning Post's Racing Podcast. Today is Sunday, 20th of September and it's back to Sha Tin this afternoon. But first, a quick look at the news in racing this week and the big news, Sacred Kingdom. Out of the Sprinter's Stakes in Japan next month, a race he had to miss last year with a serious injury with a fractured sesamoid bone which kept him out of racing for four months. This time around, it's a foot problem and trainer Ricky Yu is hopeful that he will be able to get the horse back on track to run in the Hong Kong International Sprint in December. Well, let's certainly hope so. Also in the news, uh, testosterone uh, positive tests. Um, as yet, unknown uh, the source of these, but they've been with several different trainers and stewards were testing all runners for today's Sha Tin meeting, which had received similar treatment. And any horse which is going to show up positive will be scratched in the morning. So hopefully uh, we won't have uh, any more of that. Also in the news, on Friday night next at Mooney Valley in Melbourne, Australia, four Hong Kong jockeys will take on four of Melbourne's top jockeys in a jockey challenge, not unlike the championship which is held at Happy Valley each year. And the Hong Kong jockeys will be Douglas White, Olivia Deleuze, Brett Preble and Howard Cheng, and they won't miss a local meeting. They'll ride it to Mooney Valley on the Friday and then back for Sha Tin next Saturday. Well, today's feature race is the Kwong Tung Handicap Cup. It's race nine on the card and it's an absolute cracker for so early in the season. We've got uh, a boom horse here in fair trade from the Casper Found Stable trying to keep his record intact. Two starts in Australia for two wins at 1,400 metres and his debut win in Hong Kong in June over the same course and distance. But this is a tougher race and I think he'll get a decent race whatever happens today. He's certainly in there with a chance. But I've gone for number five unique jewellery from the John Size Stable. This horse raced very well in the Derby and other top races last season. He's back into handicap class here. A visor on, blinkers off. And I like the way he moved in a recent trial. And uh, the video you see here is Unique Jewellery demolishing a field over the 1,400 metres early last season. And he's back to his favourite course and distance today. Six starts at the trip for four wins. He's the horse for the front page of the form guide. Well, in the Jockey Challenge, we had an upset on Wednesday night. to Alex Lai tipping over the favourites in what did look an open... Uh, jockey challenge before the night but today doesn't look nearly as open and the odds makers had them surrounded last night when they posted first markets two dollars 85 brett preble three dollars douglas white and four dollars 80 into four dollars 60 for matthew chadwick and they look the only chances to take it out today and i've gone for douglas white he starts off well as does preble and then Preble's day seems to sag a little bit in the middle, while Douglas White should be pretty strong in that part of the day. I expect Preble to finish well and Chadwick, but by then the race might be over, and I've gone for Douglas White to hold the day. Best bet time, and a horse I've got plenty of time for when he races on the all-weather track. He's got a great record in the lower grades, and exploding in race 8, he's number 12, should get everything to suit him today. He's trialled well. He loves this course and distance. And he's a horse who can race up on the speed. And there doesn't look to be a great deal of speed in today's race. So I'm expecting decent value. Race 8, number 12, exploding my best. Well, that's all for today's racing podcast from South China Morning Post. For more on any of the items that you've heard here, pick up your copy of the South China Morning Post today with the Big Lift Out Guide for Sha Tin, or take a look online, www.racing.scmp.com. I'm Alan Aitken, good punting.